Hi, thanks for watching another Music Marketing TV product demonstration. My name is Dave, and today we're going to be going over the TL Audio 5060 from the Ivory series. The TL Audio Ivory 5060 is a dual channel processor with a single balanced mic input and stereo line input and outputs. The TL Audio 5060 is designed for anyone who is looking for affordable tube compression. This unit is perfect for both professional, project studios, and for singer-songwriters who aim to produce high-quality recordings in their home studios. The unique aspect of this compressor is the presets section, which I'll go over in a little bit. The presets make the Ivory 5060 especially useful in industrial and corporate situations, where presets allow it to be adapted to reoccurring audio setups. Towards the right of the faceplate, you will see a switch that changes the EQ contour right before the output of the signal. Again, I will explain this in more detail towards the end of the video. Let's go over each section of the compressor starting with the preamp section. The first rotary on the top left is your input selection knob. You have four different inputs. Mic with phantom power, dynamic, line input, and instrument. The second pan pot gives you the option to set the mic gain in four stepped stages. Negative 20 dB, 0 dB, plus 20 dB, and plus 40 dB. The recommended way of operating is to set the gain to plus 40, then fine tune the gain with the input gain knob. The input gain knob gives you plus or minus 20 dB to dial in the right amount of gain. The last function of the preamp section is the 90 Hz roll off filter, which can either be engaged or disengaged. The next section of the TL Audio Ivory 5060 is the preset selector for the compressor. When using the presets, the compressor controls don't work, with the exception of the compressor on button and the gain makeup knob. Here we see the settings for all the presets. And this is a printout of the setting for each preset. In the compressor section of the TL Audio 5060, the threshold has an adjustable range of plus 10 to minus 20. The threshold, like on all TL Audio compressors, work opposite of what you might think. When turning the threshold counterclockwise, you're actually going into the plus value of the threshold. When turning the threshold clockwise, you're actually going into the negative value of the threshold. You have a wide range of ratios from 1.5 to 1 to 30 to 1, which could be considered limiting. The attack on the compressor is just a button, and when engaged, it's fast at 0.5 milliseconds. When disengaged, it's slow at 5 milliseconds. The release on the compressor when engaged is 0.2 milliseconds. When disengaged, it's at the slow position, with a speed of 1.5 milliseconds. There is 20 dB of makeup gain on the compressor. The last part of the compressor is the knee function. The knee is switchable between hard and soft. The last section contains the meter, the output level knob, and the fat EQ contour. The fat EQ sits right before the output gain knob and is the last process that could affect the signal before the output. The fat EQ can be engaged or disengaged and it adds plus 2 dB at 50 Hz, minus 0.9 dB at 720 Hz, 
and 1.8 dB at 10 kHz. The output level knob has the ability to add 15 dB of gain to the end of the signal. I hope you enjoyed the demo, and if you want to check out some more videos, go to musicmarketingtv.com, or you can go to our website, musicmarketing.ca. Thanks.